Welcome back, guys, to Wager Talk TV. I'm Andrew McGinnis. I have Carmine Bianca with me. We are the co-hosts of Puck Time. Hockey season is almost here. That means Puck Time is almost here. We're going to break down some season point total projections and picks for you guys. Today, we have the New York Rangers we are breaking down. Before I jump into that, though, I do want to let you guys know you can grab both Carmine and I at our individual pages, $599 for our full season that price will go back to $6.99 before you know it. So grab that now. If you want a full season package, grab that at wagertalk.com, $599. You'll get futures. You'll get sides. You'll get props. And if you're not paying attention, Carmine has pretty much hit like three of the last four Stanley Cup final winners. So uh, don't miss out on these futures. Don't wait till November or December to join us on our all-access passes. Grab it right now, wagertalk.com. Let's jump into the New York Rangers and their win total of 99 and a half. A team that had a very successful season last year. The question is, can they repeat that? Can they do it again? And can they build off success they had last season? One thing I wanted to mention, Carm, about this New York Rangers team, I think a lot of people forget about, is the fact that they actually are younger than some might think. You know, with guys like Capo Caco, Alexi Lafreniere, you know, you look across the list, Sammy Blay, um, you know, even Artemi Panarin isn't that old. You know, he still has a lot of time uh, being the superstar player he is. And then, of course, great leadership with Chris Kreider, Mika Zabinijed, and on their blue line as well. Lots of veteran blue liners that not just have skill, but also have size and are physical. This is a very well-built team. When I look at the New York Rangers, and then, of course, we had to talk about it. Igor Shesterkin, a guy just continues to steal the show. He keeps this Rangers team in lots of games, makes a lot of big, big saves for them. Maybe a little bit too many. You know, I did say last year quite a bit of times that he was bailing them out more than some people might have thought. But picking up uh, Vincent Trocek, you know, going to be the second line centerman for them. I thought it was a huge addition for that team. I feel like the Rangers are very well rounded this year. And this number is well below what we saw them finish at last year with 110 points. So I'm high on the Rangers this year. I think they're very well-rounded lines, one through four. And uh, they have a solid defensive core as well. So they did struggle to score a little bit last year, which is kind of surprising. And uh, as you're going to jump into, Carm, they kind of relied on special teams a little bit. But I like the over on the New York Rangers over 99 and a half points. Yeah, uh, Andrew, I, I, I tend to agree. I think, I think if that number was uh, even a couple points higher, I would probably look at the under. 110 last year was a fantastic season for this team, especially one when you consider that they averaged like 2.35 goals per game. But um, that power play that they had last year was, was phenomenal. I think they finished fourth in the league at uh, just a clip over 25%, and, uh, and they relied on it. So... Uh, you know, you have to look at, you know, uh, you mentioned obviously the addition of um, uh, of Trocek. Obviously, he takes over in that spot for uh, Ryan Strom, who's uh, Ryan Strom, who's gone. But um, goal goaltending is going to be Shesterkin. But are you going to? It's an 82 game season uh, for Shesterkin. They've got 16 this year. Throughout the year, they got 16 back to backs. You're not going to see him lightly. Uh, in a majority of those back-to-backs. So now you go to your backup goalie, and obviously Georgiev is gone. So you, you either have Halak or Le, Louis Domingue in goal. Uh, so it's a bit of a drop-off there because I think Georgiev was a pretty good goalie uh, in himself last season for them. Um, but, yeah, you mentioned the, the youth on that team. They've got a very good defense, which obviously uh, will help when, you, when you've got those backups in. You know, but you look at, and this is a big factor for this team, as you look at, you mentioned uh, guys like uh, Panarin, Kreider, Zabandajad. Each one of those guys had their best year um, uh, as NHL players last season. Um, can they replicate that? They might have to if you're if you're betting over that 99 and a half, you're going to have great seasons from them. You're, you're going to need to score some goals. They're going to have to do much better than that 2.35 goals uh, goals per game average than they did last year. And that's even with Shesterkin in goal, because otherwise you're going to be on the wrong end of some one goal games. Uh, they're going to win a lot of those two, one games, but, um, 
They're not going to win a lot of those 5-3 or 5-4 games. That's not the type of Rangers team anyways. But uh, I like the over 99.5. I think they have, they're they going to take the next step forward. The next step forward is being in that cup final and representing the East. Uh, they were close to it last year. 110 points is going to be tough to replicate. But I think uh, they get uh, they get over that 99.5 this season. It is a high number. And like you said, Shesterkin is great, but they can't rely on him to do everything for them. They had to put some goals up. And I feel like they do have the depth to do it. Will they be able to do that? Asking three guys to do a lot of the scoring is just not really a recipe for success. New York Rangers, not really our best bet here, but over 99 and a half. Carmine and I like that one. Going to be a great season for the Rangers. Don't forget to check out my page or Carmine's page at wagertalk.com. Or a full season of NHL for $599. Once again, wagertalk.com.